Do you have a, a one goal that in your lifetime that you want to see happen, or is it more vast than that, or complicated? If I, there are two goals, I think, and, and they are related. I think if people, if I can have a hand somehow in causing people to take that astronaut view of Earth and realize this is it, this is it. My view is from inside the ocean looking up, and I love working with those who've been high in the sky. But together, we can bring a perspective on how we shouldn't take the planet and all that it represents for granted. We need to take care of it. It takes care of us. We have to not let the assets diminish. Getting that embedded in the psyche of everybody, everybody, you don't destroy the planet that supports you. You do everything you can to take care of what remains of the four and a half billion year legacy that we all inherited. And we do everything possible to restore what we can of what's been damaged or lost. So that's one. And two is how do you do that? Well, protected areas coupled with overarching policies. But I think the most important is getting into the hearts and minds of people to get them to understand. When you know, you might care. You might not care even if you know, but it starts with understanding. I try to drag people into the water <laughs> with a face mask on, of course, <laughs> and to see what's there, to get them to see for themselves. And if they can do that, if, if people broadly understand. There is hope. There is hope for the things that people say they care about, that I care about. I care about people most of all. I am a dedicated tree hugger, whale hugger, fish hugger. You know, I love all life, but I love people most of all. I have three children and four grandchildren, all grandsons, and they all, they give me a perspective of wanting to keep the world safe for them. So what, and it's ever been that way, generation after generation. You want the world to be better for the ones coming along that you have come to care about. And that's how I feel with every, to the tips of my flippers, with every ounce of my being, I want that to happen. And it's, the urgency is that it's painful to see losses that are, that are permanent. Having watched the decline of coral reefs, we've lost about half in the last 50 years. Either they're gone, that's about 20%, or they're in a serious state of decline. In the Caribbean, throughout most of the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, about 80% are gone. In some places, they've, they've, they've simply disappeared. But the good news is 10% are still in pretty good shape. Half of them are lively enough to be able to be recovered, restored, if we take actions to protect them. And it isn't just because they're beautiful and we're not putting them in a box away, away, but rather because they are what make, part of what makes the ocean function. They're a life source. It, it makes the world function. We're just, it's like protecting your heart. The ocean is the blue heart of the planet, and the life in the ocean is what makes the heart beat.